our faith in difficulties in this day and time. And it's just this little praise song. It's not traditional, but I want you to listen to the words of the song because it's ministering to the people and it's telling you, come on, even in the midst of pain, even in the midst of sorrow, even in the midst of joy,
and that you change us into what you want us to be. <laughs> we thank you, dear God, for what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you for what you're doing in us. Thank you for the glory that you were healed. Thank you for your advice that brings us and destroys every day. Oh, you are the great great thing, God. Don't let us leave here like we came. Don't let us leave without an encounter with you today. Father, we won't be satisfied with business as usual. Turn our hearts to you.
and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. Say that with me. Went on their way. Say it with me. Went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire. Yeah. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken, taken captives. Then David and the people that were with Yeah. Uh -huh. 
We don't live by them. No. They're here. That's right. Amen. David and his men wept until they had no tears to hear. The warriors, the mighty men of valor, were crying. They had just slain thousands of people, but they were at the house crying. Yeah. It would seem to me, if you were a warrior, you said, who did it? Let's go get them. <laughs>
that you can't recover. My God. But honey, let me tell you, God will help you to recover. And He will give you strength. You can do the Lord. Thank you. 
Without fail means to be torn out or away. 
go and get your stuff. He don't give me what I need when I get there.
Remember, so I'm going to pray for you people, okay? People desire prayer. I'm going to read this to you. Philippians chapter 3, yeah. verses 13 and 14. And um, they didn't give me no time limit, so y'all bear with me. Thank you. Um, brethren, I count on myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14 says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That phrase that says, I care not myself to have apprehended, means that I have not made it my own yet. I, I, I'm still working toward it. I am pursuing after the things of God. I am wishing that you should have I'm chasing no matter what I have to do, because I need to. More than more. He said, I haven't apprehended him yet, but I'm pressing toward the mark. I'm forgetting. Now, the first thing you need to remember is that you forget the things which are behind. Don't stay stuck. Amen. Thank you. I know that's a great man. Beloved, don't be stuck. Beloved, be free. Let him heal you. Let him take you to your next. Let him move you from this place of despair and depression and heaviness. And let God do what God does and give you a brand new life. Jesus said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That's for you. Yes. 
of God. Yellow. Rest on your feet.
I'll say it.